Cristiano Ronaldo, world-renowned superstar, absolute monster on the soccer field, celebrity, he's got money, he's got mansions, supercars, he's got everything you could ever imagine about, but today we're gonna to be talking about his absolutely shredded physique, and I actually wanna to explain to you guys and lay out the exact foundation of how he's actually able to become such a shredded monster. So, first things first, for Cristiano Ronaldo on a daily basis, two to three to four hour training days where he's moving his body explosively or working out or practicing, these are not uncommon. He's very rarely just seated down for hours at a time. And if he is, it's just because he's moving from one location to another so that when he gets to this location, he's either gonna do a workout, a practice, some type of a photo shoot, or he's just he's just moving like at all times. Outside of his normal, just regular soccer practice for the Portugal team, which I'm gonna include right here, uh, this is how much they practice on a week basis or a daily basis I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna present that there he has a big big focus highly on his core and on his quads and his legs if you can take a look at his core right here it is absolutely shredded to pieces it is so incredibly strong and it's an absolutely fundamental piece of his puzzle and also his legs people have known about Cristiano Ronaldo's beastly monster legs for all an incredibly long time now comparatively to a bodybuilder no they're not on the same level but for a guy with a frame that he has in the first place these legs are absolutely insane and take a look at the deep detailing of the shreddedness on those legs too. He has virtually no fat and you'll also notice that too when you take a look at his midsection. So in regards to his abdominal training, last year he actually put out this uh, app with the Nike Pro training app and it had an abdominal circuit that his trainer Joaquin, I, I'm totally probably butchering that, had put together and it was an incredible circuit so you're able to see the clips. I already recorded a video of this last year documenting the exact workout that he would do and it was mostly focused on movements that you weren't explosively uh, firing your legs and your arms at and that was a big big theme with his core and abdominal workouts is that he was recruiting the abdominal muscles and he was doing all of the movements slow and under control so he was able to strictly target the abdominal muscles and keep their time under tension at a maximal level. Now outside of just his abdominal work he does focus a lot on his lower body training. I've noticed a lot of exercise that he does involves a lot of abduction and I have a feeling that has to correlate with his ability to quickly transition between left and right so that he can juke out players and dance around them so that he can easily make scores around the field. So the abduction of his legs, the glute medius, those are going to be areas that he's going to be definitely focusing on. And also with a lot of leg presses and lunges and balancing type of exercises too, where he's utilizing BOSU balls and balance requiring pieces of equipment so that he can do these movements while all the muscles are firing in random patterns so that he's able to adapt to what he will be presented with on the field. Where he's going to quickly have to make these transitions and still be stable and switch from left to right and juke players out and get around them so that he can make a big play on the field. Now outside of just the machines and stuff that it is very very apparent that he has a preference with a lot of body weight exercises you'll see him doing tons of push-ups okay push-ups and chin-ups and pull-ups he likes the body weight exercises and it's most likely due to the fact that he's able to do these movements incredibly fluidly as if he were actually on the field when you're doing a lot of machine exercises whether they be you know even a Smith machine bench press that is something where you're gonna be completely locked in and your muscles don't have to do too much stabilizing while you're trying to increase your strength so with him using body weight exercises exercises, this really brings into it a real world applicable aspect that is really going to benefit him not just in the gym and with his physique but also on the field. And then a couple of other pieces of equipment he utilizes for increasing his cardiovascular ability would definitely be the battling ropes which are incredibly fun and they're really great for strengthening the upper body and the core and then in addition he also does a lot of stationary biking. He typically says that he'll do either stationary bikes before he actually gets into his workouts or even before he gets into a practice. Either that or a light run or light jog before he gets into it just so that he can properly warm up his body. Now outside of the traditional means of training and by the way he does not train traditionally he's a monster and pushes so hard and for so long but the miscellaneous aspect of this the kind of interesting ways that he trains to get that level or that edge above everybody else is very very interesting. As you can see right here yes he is stationary biking under water. This provides a type of resistance that is going to be incredibly, incredibly difficult. I don't care how intense you try to make those bikes when they're just above water. When you put them underwater, that provides a whole new level of stimulus. This is one of the first times I've ever seen this. In addition, he's also utilizing training that's going to involve a lot of footwork so that he's able to become explosive. So he's definitely going to be on the ladder working his quick feet, transitioning between directions and moving his feet in very accurate and quick little patterns. And as well, a lot of sprint work and a lot of changing 
changing of direction sprint work too so that again the training that he's utilizing here is going to be able to be you know very effective for him when he's on the field and as well this guy's a crazy big swimmer so not only is he doing stationary biking underwater but he's swimming for laps he's definitely trying to increase his cardiovascular ability and trying to push himself as hard as he possibly can what you'll notice is when he's doing all of these different types of exercises it's not very slow unless he's doing the stationary bike for his warm-up it's very very high intensity so he's doing intervals of explosiveness because again this is just going to translate on the field and then the benefit of these high intensity bursts of exercise is very beneficial for yes his physique and his health but also for his athletic performance outside of this this guy because he's training so much like two to three to four hours a day he also needs to be focusing heavily on his recovery so that he can continue to keep pushing this as maximally as he possibly can. So he utilizes these things like a cryotherapy chamber, which has been sourced to say that he had one installed, I think in 2013. So his entire body is able to maximally recover in as short of a time as possible. And he's definitely taking advantage of things like massage therapists, physiotherapists, and chiropractors on the regular so that he can keep his body functioning at a maximal ability at all times. Now, when it comes to Cristiano's diet, it's very, very simplistic. When we're talking about the liquids and the fluids that he's getting in, he has coffees to start off the day in this little day in the life video that showed him having four coffees I don't think the guy actually has four coffees to start off his day he might have one or two I might be wrong there but he starts his day off with coffee and says that he's very very focused on keeping himself hydrated throughout the day which is incredibly important especially when you're training three to four hours every single day and then in regards to things like alcohol listen he's at the highest level that the athletes can perform and he's at the top of the top so his alcohol consumption is going to be very minimal if not completely absent especially for an athlete like him. He can't have any hangovers impeding on his workouts or his ability to perform at all. I imagine the only time that this guy drinks is after a big championship. And even then, it's probably not going to be for weeks on end binging. This guy's very, very regimented, strict and serious and committed and obsessed with this. So his alcohol consumption is probably very, very low. And then mainly with his diet, like the things that he eats, he says he keeps his nutrition secrets very, it's just very, very simplistic. He eats very clean foods that are very quick and easy to make and easy to eat as well. Well, one of his dinner meals that he had was just chicken breast with quinoa and the weird side here. I think most people would have broccoli, not Cristiano. In fact, he was having watermelon with that meal. So very, very simplistic meals, nothing incredibly complex. So there you guys go. This is the entire little blueprint that I was able to put together for you guys that lays out exactly how you can get in the physique that Cristiano Ronaldo has. I was absolutely blown away with this guy's level of dedication. Uh, well, sorry, I keep making that mistake. Obsession with becoming come in the absolute best and then the result of that being his absolutely incredible physique I mean he's got paper thin skin you can see the veins on his legs which is a very hard area to get your veins to show his six pack you can see all the striations and the definition in his physique and then obviously his performance on the field this guy's a monster I was incredibly blown away with what goes behind this guy's workouts and his meals and stuff and how he goes throughout his day in order to be Cristiano Ronaldo so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did then be sure to give your boy a like down below and if you made it this far in the video and you are a fan of soccer then be sure to let me know who your team is down below I personally don't have a favorite team as of this point right now doing all this research about Cristiano Ronaldo and then obviously making this video I think I am going to be a supporter of him to try and see his success and just see how far that this guy can push it I mean he's 33 years old uh, he's getting to a point probably soon where he's not going to be able to keep performing at this level so I'd like to see if this guy is able to take home a World Cup championship this year in 2018 other than that guys that's everything again really hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to smash that like button and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I will see you in the next video.